All right, chef, so we've come together to create what we think is an amazing dish. And it's all under control. Don't worry. Dude, let us know what you think. Worst thing I've literally ever had. Clearly, we suck at cooking. So for the next seven days, we will train to become professional chefs. And on the final day, we will host a shokugeki to decide who will be crowned the best chef. Alright, so it's day one, and I need to get ingredients to make my dish. What's up, guys? We're recording the chicken thighs. I'm cooking chicken. Enchiladas. <laughs> First time shopping. Let's go, Luke. Come on. All right, guys. I don't know what to do. Editor, just put it on the screen right here. That's what I need to get for the recipe. But yeah, that's what I have to get for the recipe. I have no clue what to do, but you know, I'm I'm, I'm here. I'm here, ready to win. Are you ready to win? Cause you're winning. I'm winning. Yo. <laughs> okay, so I am working with ground turkey. If you've seen the Baki video, that's literally the only thing I ate for like 30 days. For this cooking challenge, I'm gonna be cooking. Steak. Now, I love meat. I'm pretty basic, so I'm not gonna put too much on my steak. I think I won this cooking competition by far. See, sometimes simplistic is the best approach, right? Woo! I'm actually impressed. Not bad. I completed my steak, day one. Out of 100 points, rate how good it is. But don't say rating right yet. Here you go. 65? Are you kidding me? Alright guys, it's day one of the food challenge, and I actually don't have any of my ingredients, which is why I'm at Costco. I decided that the dish I will be making it's gonna be making the miso paste. It's gonna take three days to sit, and I'm fucked. I have to make green enchiladas. My mother. What is my mother doing? What do you want? You're not yes, I have to. Food. I have to make food. It's for the you video. I'm gonna cook one chicken thigh. One chicken? Yes. Put it in the air fryer. No. <laughs> All right. I need to do one fourth cup of this, and one fourth of this, and boil it in the pan for 20 seconds. Ugh. We're gonna get our chicken. We're gonna tenderize it with this hammer thingy. All right. I think that's good. Oh my god, that fucking killed the chicken. It's boiling for 20 seconds. Now we add the miso paste. Three tablespoons of sugar. I feel like that's a lot. All right, now we just whisk it. I don't even know what it said. This looks just actually so disgusting. All right, so now that I'm done pounding my meat, pause. Garlic salt. I don't want too much pepper. Yeah, I have no freaking idea what I'm doing. Guys, it is all whisked up. This looks actually like what I remember it looking like, so I think we're onto something. Yep, I think that's how you're supposed to do it. I mean, that looks fire, right? Fuck it, we're just gonna thug it out and just gonna do it. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! You guys hear that? Chicken katsu! About 1 to 100, right, Hedro? Okay. And so much chicago, my Hedro. Chicken is too tough. And they try my No, that tastes good. Tastes good? 70. 70? Okay, I'll take 70. <laughs> After getting hit with two days of back to back disappointments, I finally got the lamb chops and I can finally make the food. Alright, guys, day three. I've upgraded. Now I have a cast iron pan that was like 50 bucks. Michael will come in. I'm cooking for him today, so hey. he's gonna be ready my steak. And my friend Dominic. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys know, I got my lamb chops today at Costco and I got the rest of my ingredients at Albertson's. But yeah, let's get started. Meanwhile. Oh, shoot, I have to eat this out. That's right. Now I'm gonna do this. Okay, a lot, right? Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna check if it's ready. Let's check. How does that look, Dom? Looks pretty solid. Solid? Alright, we're gonna flip it. Okay, now I'm gonna start basting, so I'm turning down the heat. Here, we're gonna do this first. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do my butter. Now. Really? I like butter too, you're making it for me. Burning! Burning! Oh, it's really hot. Get a little bit more. I don't like brown butter now, but it's fine. Oh, this is burning me, but it's okay. Take it off the burner. Oh, hot my God. Alright, let's see. Flip it. Yeah, just let all those juices out, man. Dude, come on, that looks good. Put all that crap on there. You're good, yep, solid. All right. All right. I made the dressing to go along with it. It's very garlicky. Remember, this is my first cook. It might not turn out as good as I hope it to be. I'm gonna have my dad and my little brother try it in a little bit, get their reactions to see what I can do to improve it. Let's see what they say. Medium rare. Good. Go. Yeah, see, I knew you'd like it. Very good, Ethan. Ooh. 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 Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Let's rate it. Out of 100 points. So, I think it actually needed a lot more salt. I think it's good. I'd, I'd, I'd give it a solid 73. 
out of 100 points, uh, not bad. How about you, Michael? It wasn't rare enough. I think you could have used a little more butter. A little, a little more butter? butter. Okay. It was okay. good. I'll give it 83. 83? Wow. Yeah. Okay. This has nothing to do with the challenge, but I just wanted to improve my cooking. I made a pancake. Okay, so right now I am going to make my turkey burger. It's time to cook my second chicken meal. It is finally rested for three days. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, this looks absolutely horrid. This actually looks unedible. I'm gonna just put it on the pan and see what we got cooking. I'll try this and if I throw up and die, y'all know what happened. POV, but I'm recording with my mouth. Hey, look me. Welcome. Mmm. Take one chicken cutlet and dredge on front of coating both sides evenly. Mm-hmm. 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 So, it's looking like a burger to me. I'm gonna make the sauce. I don't really know, but it's like more ingredients, so I'm about to make it right now. <laughs> My sauce to concoction. It better not taste bad, because if it does, then I'll be mad. Top bun for the secret sauce. Okay, I know it looks bad, but trust me. Actually, don't trust me, because there's a big chance that it's actually gonna be really bad. Two problems, really quick. It's still raw. Second problem, I'm burning my face, because the oil keeps jumping up on me. This is the cook to you, because it doesn't look cooked to me. So first, I gotta put this in and see. It's 140, 145, 149, 150. Yeah, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. Hell yeah, it's time for the flip. Woo! There it is. This looks good. All right, it actually looks kind of good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go test it and eat it and see if it's actually good. That looks pretty good. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Like, this is like a seven. Mom test, mom bite. That's insane. Oh, so good. I know, that's what I, oh, okay. I was saying how obviously it'd be better if it was beef. Dude, but it's so juicy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> It's actually good. Maybe too much miso. I actually like miso a lot, so it doesn't really matter to me. I made my mom try it. She said it's really good. I might be honest on the guys. I know I'm not gonna win it, but low key, I'm gonna have the chance. I think I'm losing this shot. <laughs> I actually think half of it's raw. The chicken's supposed to be the main part of this, right? But every other ingredient is better than the chicken. All right, so to be honest, I've been kind of slacking after the first day of cooking because I'm gonna be honest, I think this competition will be pretty easy to win. Not to be egotistical or anything, but I do think that I am the best cook out of all the other guys. So I haven't been really taking it as seriously. Earlier today, I was sitting at my desk and I thought, do I really want to make curry katsu? And that's when I had an amazing idea. I wanted to make actual Korean food. In specific, this dish called kaibichim. It's a dish that I grew up eating and I love. And I think that it will set me apart in the competition. You know, it's actual food from my culture. So I just called Chef PK, also known as the greatest recipe maker of all time when it comes to anime food. And I told him that I'm screwed. I basically told him that my chicken turned out bad, my chicken sandwich turned out bad. So I told him I'm making tinga. We're all have to do shred the chicken, make some sauce, and not fuck it up. Hi there. We're gonna um act normal. You can't have you ever oh, done. Oh, I that? thought I was like You're not acting like you're still gonna go. Okay, go. Here's how you make the chicken. Okay, I bet. Now it is time to make the food I want to make and I'm going to get help from my mom. This is my mom. She's going to help me. So now I got to rinse the beef a couple times. I have to let it sit in water. Chicken's done. This is the worst recording I've ever seen. Look at this goodness. You Look can't see anything. Food. That looks good enough to eat right now, huh, folks? Mom, you cannot be seen. Pill food. You don't even know which ones you're taking. You gotta think of the ones you're doing first. Put the phone down. <laughs> <laughs> Since this is a pressure cooker, this thing, I don't know what it does, something special, and I let this go for 15 minutes. So can you explain what you're doing right now? What do you say? We're dropping the chicken in. Drop it in the chicken like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Uh, drop it like it's hot. Uh. Oh. Oh. That don't look too bad. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Can I Oh, cool. Oh. Mm. 
All right, my friends around me came to my house, so they're gonna try my steak. Um, football. Yeah, yeah. My friends that randomly appear here's the steak, hot plate. It's supposed to be medium rare, okay? So if it's not medium rare, how am I set it? Hey, cross section check, cross section check. Yep, first rating. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Ooh, that's rare. All right, so I'll taste it though. It's looking a little red. Well, yeah. Taste section. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gianni's meat in my mouth. Yeah. Oh, the man. taste is fucking there. Alex, your turn. Honestly, Honestly, smooth. I think I need another bite. Right, bro, <laughs> yo, bro. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'll give a solid 8.5. Okay. No, no, no. I'm going to do it. Solid 8.5. Really? I'm so chilling. <laughs> I'm just so stressed out right now about this challenge. I know how to cook a good steak, right? The flavor I think I've got down perfectly. If I don't cook it medium rare, I think I will automatically lose. I just need to lock in and hope and pray that I can get the steak medium rare. If not, I'm screwed. Today is the final day of preparation. I'm actually prepping for the day tomorrow, so I'm gonna be at a big advantage. But my problem is my opponents are way too good. I honestly don't know how everyone else is gonna fare. Ethan has lamb, which is like hard. Dude can't even cook an egg. Aiden is doing enchiladas, and that's not gonna go good well for him. Kate's doing fish. He's never even touched a fish, let alone cook one. Jeremy, he's, I don't even know what he's doing. He's doing something. Johnny has a steak, and like at the lowest they can be is like a seven. Gentlemen. It's been seven days. Are you guys ready to make all of your custom dishes? Yes, yes chef. chef. All right, I don't wanna see any mistakes. This is a small kitchen, move well. Yes, you ready? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. yes Let's bitch. Go. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys about how I'm grading everything. It's gonna be on taste, difficulty, and execution. All of those are graded out of five points or five stars. Then I'm giving them an average and we're gonna announce a winner at the end. Okay, Chef Paul, I mean, Chef VK. I know presentation is key and this is a beginner kitchen class. So I'm gonna be needing a lot of your help to complete my meal today. That's not my job. I've practiced technique for so long, so hopefully it pays off. Salted a lot because if I put it immediately in the pan, then it removes almost 35% of the salt. Learned this from the goat, Gordon Ramsay. Swipe it around so it absorbs that. And then one secret chef chip. Tip the fat side, you gotta get the salt. And now we're gonna let it still rest for a little bit and maybe I'm gonna start prepping a little bit. All right guys, right now I'm making lamb with a combination of two sides, mashed potatoes and asparagus. I've been doing this for the better part of a week. Hopefully I can deliver. I've already been boiling the potatoes. That was gonna take a while. I had the help of chef here peeling them because I was taking too long. All right guys, this is what it looks like. This looks absolutely disgusting. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I low key rushed through this. It said I had to marinate it for three days. It's been almost two days, all right? It could be good enough. I could be in my bag right now, so it don't really matter. The right one. Guys, I'm for the people. I'm trying to get out of this house, so I'm gonna speed run this a little bit. It's gonna be extra good for you, do not worry. You might throw up, you know, it might have some side effects, but it's okay. Now we wait. I'm gonna cut this beef. Now, I have two types of beef for this dish. I have short rib, and also I have chuck roast, I think it is. It's nervous having you, like, watching me oh, over yeah. my shoulder. I'm not here. I'm just admiring your meat. <laughs> Got right here, some sweet potatoes. I'm making sweet potato fries. Stick into the healthier route. I'm gonna get some olive oil on these. You never have too much salt unless you have, what, heart failure. Some damn fries. Everyone loves some damn fries. Time to put this in the oven, and I don't time it, I just eyeball it. All right, now that that is done, I'm gonna wash this out. All right, oh, just get in my way, why don't you? I'll do about two, because we don't want it overpowering. A big critique I got, this was kind of overpowering. It's too much. Very, very yeah. strong. We're gonna clean this up a little bit. I'm not professional. I did not practice cleaning. We're almost ready, so now we are actually going to start everything. Chef thought I was choking, but in reality, I'm actually enlightened. My plan is simple. Follow the recipe. Unlike everyone else, I started from below zero. Step one, put everything on the counter. We did that one. Step two, cut, wash the tomato. Gotta get rid of this first, if I remember correctly. Oh my god. Idiots. <laughs> These are done. So we're gonna area clear because of course I have to drain the, what do I call that? Liquid. The liquid out, of course, yeah, liquid. Oh, you see my glasses are fogging up now? Oh. As you can see, they're nice and golden. Right. Nice potatoes. Thank you. As you can see, my cooking style is very different to Aiden's. It's chaotic <laughs> and loud, and I heard it all the way in the front yard. Actually, I'll use this one. All right. I heard that. Or what? I heard you that. didn't hear anything. You didn't hear anything. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna let the blood drain off the meat in the water. I'm gonna set this aside for a little bit. Yeah, everyone's watching, man. No one's watching. <laughs> I'm shaking, I'm lucky shaking. You're ready to go out. So is everything going to be cooked at one time? Uh, yes, pretty much. So it's a stew. I'm going to be using a pressure cooker. Normally, it's like just on a pot for hours. But for time reasons and also the way that my mom taught me to make it is just, just use a pressure cooker. It's... Hey, yo, what the fuck? 
Oh, thank you. All right, get it nice and toasty. This is my least favorite part because it's disgusting. The ingredient you chose is disgusting. Listen, ground turkey, it's nothing crazy. It, it's like on its best day, it's maybe like a seven out of 10, you know? But what I'm thinking is I'm gonna make this a really good set. I'm actually gonna start with the fat first. Nice. A mistake I've made a lot during this too is overcooking the fat. So I wanna make sure the fat is just good. The fat not looking the greatest, but it's okay. What the heck are these onions? Oh no. Grab Grab may have one. gone the worst Grab onions one. I've ever seen in existence. So you're supposed to feel from this side once, once nope. it's ready? Whoa. You never turn on the fan. So ready. you keep cooking. I'm gonna turn off the fire alarm. I don't know about you guys, but setting up fire alarms minus five points. Should have used a bowl, but there wasn't anything crazy big. I think I'm good on the amount of butter I used as well as the, the heavy cream. I think I used a good amount. Looks pretty creamy to me. Now I'm gonna be moving on to the asparagus. Hmm. Where's the asparagus? Look at the mystery substance, come on. Put the mystery substance in. My problem is, I don't know if they have a measuring cup. I'm gonna assume they have a measuring cup. Oh, there we go, I found it, I found it. Okay, half a cup, there we go. Dude, I should have done more prep work, okay. Okay, now it says five to six garlic cloves. You break it up, and then this is the secret technique. You go like this and you go, Cause I'm nervous, dude. I'm in front of a pro. <laughs> oh, why are you smiling? You know, I'm just, fire I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here for the ride, dude. Here for the ride. I'm just, just here for the might, ride. It might kill you. That's the best part. That's the thrill that you want every time you're eating a dish. You know what I mean? Now we wait again, guys. So now I'm done prepping my vegetables. I'm gonna move on to making the actual sauce now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you Get all this in. Parsley, garlic. All that good stuff, make it taste good. So just eyeballing everything, yeah? I literally am eyeballing everything. Cause that's how I cook, you know? Like a lot of times it's kind of annoying to break out all the freaking things. Ethan is literally just wearing his apron, so that's cool. Uh, yes! <laughs> oh Wait, do you not have anything on underneath that? Oh my God! Oh, Jesus! This is hard cause I have to complete a head count. I may either choke or do beautiful. I have to use all my knowledge from these past seven days. So I should be... Frick. Someone take my garlic? Guys, oh no. This might be a big choke. We're gonna go. Someone take my garlic, by the way, guys. Anyone take my garlic? Yeah. yeah oh, wait, did you I'm see that? No, no, did you see that? Like, hey, hey, chef, chef. He had it the whole time. He was hiding it from me. It was just no. in my pocket at Phantom Tags. My onion, one fourth chunk. I'm assuming it's like right here. Mm, there we go. Uh, one to two chilies. Okay, there we go. That's spicy. Oh gosh, that's spicy. While we're waiting on my sauce, how do you think I've been doing so far just making a basic blend? Fine so far. Really? Um, I would start cleaning up unless you're moving on to another step. Oh, you're right. You need to move on. After I blanch, I have to put it in ice cold water immediately, which I'm gonna be keeping in here for about five minutes. And then I have to put it in the oven. Careful. Someone under the... Uh-huh. I'm reviewing the footage, but I have no idea. Oh, shoot, sure, I forgot. Does this look around the same size? Chef, does this look around the same size, you think? Yes. Okay, perfect. Does it taste like nothing? Not enough salt. No. Just throw another onion in there. Let's throw one more garlic. Yeah, we'll do two garlic. Because I'm going to be honest, it tasted like a whole lot of nothing. That has too much salt. Oh shoot, that has way too much salt. Okay, whoever's tomato this is, I'm sorry. <laughs> now it has too much tomato. Oh my gosh, I should have just stuck with the original. I'm gonna start making the sauce. I'm gonna start off with this can of peaches. So now I'm gonna blend this until it becomes pretty watery. Looks like applesauce. Uh -huh. This recipe's main like flavor base will, is soy sauce. But the problem was that uh, I packed soy sauce. Uh, it spilled a little bit. I have some right here, but this is Korean soy sauce and this is Japanese soy sauce. And I think that Japanese soy sauce is a little like saltier. So I might have to dilute it with some water. Do you know how to open this, Jeff? Oh, sorry, my hands are a little wet. Oh, what the hell? I just got ratio, bro. Uh, guys, while we wait for that, we also have this right here. I've never made this in my life either. Is that microwave rice? It's my See, right? That's the best way to do it, you know what I mean? What's in the bag right there? What? What's in there? I don't know. <laughs> Making them into nice little balls. Okay, this is my least favorite part, actually putting them on. I'm always such a such a bitch when I put it on. I'm always like, Oui, oui. Boy, is looking good. Two turn off fries? Looking okay. okay. Okay, not gonna lie, it doesn't look like they're cooking that much. Is that... He is 
You, he's trying to sabotage. See sabotage. that? Sabotage. Sabotage. Not supposed to do that. Do you like pickles on your burger? Absolutely. Yeah, Too bad I didn't bring any pickles. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna cut these now. Uh -oh. I don't know how to do a crazy clean cut. Hopefully my cutting is better than Aiden's. Don't worry. Dude, the problem is I don't know how to take this. Oh my gosh, I just got the salt back. <laughs> Thank you. You know, the kitchen always has to have two chefs on board because one of them might have CTE. I'm gonna start applying some seasoning. I'm sorry this is taking so long. I mean, you are doing three separate things. Yeah. So that's okay. I'm gonna put this inside because now I have to I have to dry them off before putting them on here. So after the asparagus goes in the oven, what are you aiming to do next? I'm gonna start heating that up. I should start doing that now. Working with multiple things can be difficult. No. LeBron performs under pressure all the time, so. And he's my hero. I gotta be just like him. So this is your sauce that you're gonna cook the beef in? Yes. Where'd my onion go? You put it in, no? Huh? Did you actually not, you, you didn't take this? No, 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 like 30 minutes ago, maybe 40 minutes ago. You sure? Hey, you sure you didn't nah, take it? I really don't know what happened to your onion. Just spin it in. Oh, wait, are you gonna? Especially considering how the Leave this on high for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I'm going to put it onto medium low. Guys, we're almost done. You know, since this meal's going so well, Chef PK actually has a quest for the best. Look at how many recipes, and they're all anime related. Make sure to check out Chef PK and buy yourselves one of these. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I really think I have a chance at winning the top spot after. I like the confidence. I used a few of my abilities, you know, it's called. Bribery. In all honesty, the burgers are a little like mushier than I was expecting. Got my secret sauce. I can't tell you what it is. I'm actually gonna tell you what it is. I got it straight from the internet. Little bit of mayo, little bit of ketchup, little bit of sweet relish, some Worcestershire, some onions. And that's it. All right, now I'm gonna start making the sauce. We're gonna actually have lamb sauce butter. today. I'm gonna melt the butter. Melted, nice and melted. This is going in here as well. I have to do this quick because I want to match up temperature. I'm kind of glad I used this instead of just a normal pan because this is like a, a little bit more fat. It would spill out. When this hits 115, 120, I'm gonna take out the smaller ones. There's a couple in there. Putting some lemon in here for lemony zest. Dude, this asparagus is bland. And yo me, Parmesan. Best cheese in the game. Why don't you sprinkle Parmesan on your asparagus? That shit fire. Yeah, I don't Boom. think so. You get the oh. little pattern, you know, I'm like I'm filming Minecraft, you feel me? We're almost done, guys. Oh, what are you doing? I'm Please. writing notes. You don't just write nothing. Don't write nothing. Don't write nothing. <laughs> Ethan, that's your job, bro. Ethan, that's your job. I really don't know. This, in my opinion right now, it's not looking too good. Usually when you base it, it actually starts to look a lot better. So that's what I've noticed. I'm gonna put the butter. This is a lot of butter. Shout out to PK. I don't usually do this so much, but I don't know. I feel like it's a special time. It's not bloody burnt. I'm putting the bloody pepper jack on. Hey, am I right, Jeremy? Just a little bit, a wee bit of pepper jack. You like pepper jack? Pepper jack is delicious. It, I, it's easily the best. Especially on turkey burger. Because turkey is very plain in a lot of ways. It's, it's so plain. Guys, keep in mind, honestly, turkey sucks. I don't know why I chose it. Ground turkey sucks. The only reason I chose it is because I eat it every single day. Why did you do ground beef? It's for the challenge. It's for the challenge. It's for the a macros. Bur no, a burger, it's for the macros. Exactly. I'm not too good at mincing, so I'm just gonna rip it off. Are you making like a chimichurri? No, it's lamb sauce. Lamb sauce. There's lamb only sauce. one lamb, lamb sauce. sauce. Oh, it's whatever Gordon asks for. Yep. Uh, add chicken once cooked and warm. Seems warm. So now it's supposed to look like, oh, I put too much chicken. What you can also do to thin it out is you can add in a little more of your chicken stock. This honestly looks, seems good. Honestly, I'm sticking with this. No more tips and tricks because I know the competition ahead of me will have way less tips and tricks. Dude, honestly, this looks good. You guys are hating. Yeah, it smells really good. Right? That's what I said. I was like, it smells, it smells good. I actually have no idea how to cut lettuce, so I'm just gonna go, does it look good? Not bad. You washed that, right? Yeah. Okay, good. How much lettuce do you think you would eat on a tostada? Bro, you're, you're more Mexican than that, right? Okay, okay, you know what? I don't need the chef remorse. You're supposed to be like Gordon <laughs> Ramsay, dude. Are you serious? It's burning a little too much, and now we're gonna start facing it. See, now I'm feeling some heat. This is what I heard is a secret for the professional kitchens or the nice kitchens. They do a lot of butter. Butter a lot better. and salt. Or butter fats and salt. And yep. salt. The asparagus is done. This is the last thing. So while the lamb is resting, you're gonna finish the sauce? Yeah. And then I'm gonna pour it in here, and I'm gonna have to put them back on. Putting that off there. Now I'm applying it to the lamb. I'm gonna take out the asparagus now. How many would you like? It's up to you, chef. Are you hungry? Absolutely. <laughs> One thing that's really important is your side. Grab my sides real quick. So these are my sides. All right, I think this may be medium rare. It feels bouncy. I'm feeling good about it. I'd be careful with pouring uh, yeah, too much of that. Have... It's not really working, but it's okay. This is, you know, I'm confident in the stick. I feel like it's medium rare. Okay, presentation is important for Chef PK. See if I can even grab this right. 
Okay, this may not be perfect, but it's okay. Since technically, in an actual dinner, right, he's not gonna see me. This happens all the time. I worked in the kitchen industry. You know, when people would mess up their orders and even drop the food and just place it back, so. Fish, left side, for some reason, left side. We got this Regis from Ethan. Shout out Ethan. Thank you. Shout out Ethan, guys. How much rice you want? You're having the whole thing all of tonight. It. Yep, all having of the whole it. thing tonight, guys. Get that rotation, get that rotation. Bang, stop playing with me. Wait, this is actually funny. I actually love this. Boom. Wait, hold up. Get that crisscross action. I don't know how I did it before. You know, I might not be the most artistic person in the world, but you know. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this microwave rice. It's way better than whatever Kate has. This is authentic Korean microwavable rice. Microwave it. Two minutes. Oh, that was good. Don't worry about that. Exploding things in the microwave? Yeah, chef, don't worry about that. I gotta get on this microwave rice. Right? Don't worry that the patties are a little small. Dear don't, God. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm just getting you extra carbs. It's over. Spread it all like that. Put my onions on. Oh, that shit's hot. This looks like a shitty burger you get down at the beach. Then. Big tray to go. Hey, I hope you enjoy. This took this took a little while. Thank you, Chef. Of course. Here you go. Here it is. Looks good. It's closer good. to medium. That's what I was going for. This is my dish, haibijim, which is a pretty traditional Korean dish. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's ready to be served. Thank you, Chef. Is it upside down? What? Thank you, Chef. One bite. Uh oh. Here you go. <laughs> okay. So Thank you, Chef. Dude, that's a bang review. I'll eat that right now. It does smell good. You can really smell the beast. Changed life. Yep, I'm the best cook of all time. Oh, let me try it too, actually. I'll see if it's actually good or not. I would never eat that again, honestly. Truly. I would actually never eat that again. I would actually never eat that again. Gentlemen, honestly, really good work. Like, that's pretty okay. dope. To know that you guys don't cook very often and you guys made all of this, that's awesome. Now, with that being said, last place, Cade with two stars. <laughs> no way! No. You no. got to be kidding me, dude. I know. We didn't see it coming. Yeah, but see. like I said, you were so close to making it such a great dish. And I think if you just improved a few things, it'd be really, really good. Fifth place, Aiden with the tostada. No! With a 2.6 star. The biggest reason, honestly, is because of your work in the kitchen. The flavor of the tostada was great. The difficulty is kind of there. You use some good techniques, but you were a mess. And that marked you down a lot. Okay, the dish was good, just get better at everything else. Thank you, I'll take that. So now, this is rough because uh, tied for third, Sam and Ethan Ooh. with 3.5 oh. out of five. Up top. Okay. Now, Sam, your dish was very simple, okay, so the difficulty was lowered on that one. The flavor was good, uh, the execution was great. You were clean, you got everything done well, the burger came out nice. Just a few things here and there with difficulty. If you picked maybe a different kind of meat or you like mix two different meats, it would have been awesome. Ethan, your lowest rating was actually the execution, okay? The flavor was great. The difficulty was hard. Okay? You had the, actually the hardest difficulty that I put down only because you did blanching, searing, roasting. You did a few different techniques all at the same time, right? So that was really cool to see, but it really came down to the execution because you took really long. So I actually docked you a half a point for that. Okay, so you would have been at four, but you did take over an hour to cook. Now, there's only two people remaining. We know who they are, okay? The winner of today's Shokugeki is Jeremy. Yeah! This is very close. Jeremy, four stars. Johnny, 3.8. Okay, it was very, very close. The biggest reason is because of the execution. A little messy. 
right? We saw oil get going all over the place. You're a little messy here and there. That was your lowest rating at 2.5, but the flavor was awesome. You cooked the steak really, really well. A perfectly cooked steak. It was perfectly seasoned, but the execution was a little low. Get better at cleanup, right? It'll be beautiful. Give it with the side next time. It would have been a five out of five. Jeremy, your lowest was actually the difficulty because it's a stewed meat, right? So it's not too many steps to get there, but I did like seeing you make the marinade separate, do that separately from just throwing everything in the pot. So that was really nice to see. But all in all guys, like this was great. You guys crushed it. Like you did all of this. We've been here for six hours. <laughs> Keep that in mind. You guys made a bunch of cool dishes. So now your only goal is to uh, cook for your waifus because that's why I got started. Yeah, yeah. that's true, that's true. Thank you guys. So uh, you guys want to get panda? I'm sorry. Yeah,